An Arlington man is recovering after a brutal hit and run. I'm Kendall Morris. Coming up at 5, wait until we tell you how police found the suspect's car. This 500 foot tower is just one example of an addition to the Midway. It's staying even though Summer Adventures is going away, which is why State Fair officials say not to call this a failure. This is the first year the Great Bull Run is in North Texas, giving people another way to experience the adrenaline rush of this Spanish tradition. Disney on Ice is here at the American Airlines Center. The theme of the show is Let's Celebrate, and behind this, we're celebrating Mardi Gras. I'm here with Josh, one of the skaters. Tell us a little bit more about the theme. They go into the host city of the Final Four and refurbish an inner city basketball court. Here's what it looked like before. Not the best and not the worst, but there is an old scoreboard right here and chipped paint on the wall. An event as massive as the Super Bowl takes a lot of different people to make it all happen. But who's to blame when something goes wrong? It's been a tough beginning for Kyle, but as he builds upon what he's learned so far, he will never give up hope for his forever family. The Department of Homeland Security says the investigation is far from over. One of their top priorities, this unknown suspect. Now take a good look at him. They're hoping that someone in the Dallas-Fort Worth area will recognize him. No people packing the Midway at Fair Park, a familiar sight for 49 weeks of the year. Summer Adventures changed that, offering amusement park fun in the Texas heat. This was a park that you had to, ex you had to experience. The State Fair, which says it receives no tax dollars, spent $30 million on maintenance and improvements. This 500 foot tower is just one example of an addition to the Midway. It's staying even though Summer Adventures is going away, which is why State Fair officials say not to call this a failure. We invested in kids, we invested in Dallas, we invested in Fair Park, so $30 million well spent. But the Barren Midway isn't making some people happy. Am I ticked? Completely. We broke the news to Dallas City Councilman Dwayne Carraway, a decision he says the council should have been a part of. It's a, a boot in the butt. Another reason he's not happy, seasonal jobs lost and less people coming to South Dallas. I'm a little ticked with the park board, the park department. Roll up your sleeves and fill up Fair Park. That's what you get paid to do. And it is filled for three weeks of the year. Kendall Morris, Channel 8 News. In a small town like Terrell, everyone knows everyone's business. Monkey business, that is. He used to come up here all the time. I mean, I haven't seen him much anymore. I mean, it kind of threw me off. When not chowing down on a corny dog from Sonic, one of Terrell's most famous residents can even be found on Facebook. This is Tyler, a white-faced capuchin monkey. Oh, baby. Mom. He's lived with Cheryl Blossy and Shannon Green for 20 years. We both have kids, and he's been around longer than the kids have. You know, this is their big brother. They can't imagine their family without Tyler and never had to until a couple of weeks ago. Tyler found this hanging on the door the other day and he can't read it. But what it says is he can't stay here. In 2010, you know, animal control came out and okayed us, you know, okayed him to stay with us. The problem, a 2004 city ordinance says monkeys can't live in Terrell. Tyler's owners say he lived here 10 years before that. Chief Jody Lay with Terrell Police says it's a matter of safety but he'd be happy to grandfather Tyler into the ordinance if his owners could prove they lived within the city limits before the ordinance was passed, which is something they're trying to do. Team Tyler has more than 1,500 likes on Facebook and a petition coming soon. They live 40 to 50 years. I mean, he's midlife right now. He still, you know, he still has a lot of time to go and he needs to spend it with us. Because Tyler is more than a monkey to them. He's family. Kendall Morris, Channel 8 News. <laughs> Have a great day. Every person going to the wreck is required to show a valid TCU ID. But someone got past those security measures, stealing two iPhones September 20th. Sergeant Kelly Ham says the suspect got inside the wreck, telling an employee he left his ID inside. She believed him and let him in. The suspect was in and out in six minutes, but something was watching. These security cams caught the suspected cell phone thief on tape as he was coming and going from the wreck. Ham sent a picture of the suspect to area police departments. Keller, Colleyville, and Grapevine PDs ID'd him as Ryan Jamon King. TCU police issued an arrest warrant for King October 1st. We wouldn't have called him if it hadn't been for the surveillance cameras in the building. Uh, they have been a tremendous asset to us in investigating crimes here on campus. Ham says King is part of a cell phone stealing ring. 
That group is responsible for phone thefts in the wreck last semester. C.C. Williams' phone was back. one of those stolen. And this was taken, but all of this is still here. Unfortunately, one of the areas that is not covered currently by a security camera, one security camera, are the bleacher areas in the recreation gym. Which is exactly where Williams left her phone. It did have a lot of things on it that I can't get back now, like cute pictures and things. TCU police are working to cover the entire campus with security cams, so this... Can't believe you stole my life, man. <laughs> never happens again. Kendall Morris, TCU News Now.